Good evening, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever time you're watching this, whenever you come onto the show. Welcome to Good Morning Black People with Morgan Reese. Good evening, everyone. I am your host, Morgan Reese. I am an author of the book, Endurance is Victory, and I'm also a new podcaster of my show, Good Morning Black People with Morgan Reese. And tonight, we're going to have the one and only, the diva, my friend, my sister in, 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 in Christ, and in this new journey of my life, Miss Donya Williams. Donya Williams is a genealogist, a author, a factual unscripted streaming TV show host on the award-winning show, Genealogy Adventures Live. She's a CEO, CEO, COO, I apologize, I'm making you a CEO girlfriend, I'm putting it out to the atmosphere, and manager genealogist for the Genealogy Adventures researching team. For the past six years, um, Danya has been best known on the show for her no nonsense, straightforward, and honest attitude. That's what this show is about. Honesty, transparency. Look, put your, take, 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 take your gloves off, take your mask off. We show our true self on this show. So tonight, I'd like to welcome my new guest, my first guest for the official debut of Good Morning Black People with guess who? Me, oh Morgan Reese. Yes, that's who I am. Thank you guys for tuning in again. Thank you for your support. Thank you for streaming live with me. And let's just have fun. Let's do what it do. Remember, 2023 is all about who? Danya. Okay. 2023 is all about who? It's all about you, baby. No, it's all about you. <laughs> Come on, is all about how about that? that? Say, and this year, 2023 is all about me. There you go. <laughs> Put it out to the atmosphere, girlfriend. Amen. So welcome again, like Danya. Thank I you really for having me. You, and I'm so honored and blessed that God allowed you to take this time to help debut my new show. You don't know how much this is a God sent to me from my lips to God's ears. Amen. It's come to fruition. So I want, I've already gave you an introduction, gave an introduction of you and who you are and what you got, what you have going on with your life and your new journey, your path. But I want you to hear, I want that our streamers and a lot of people who are coming to the show for the very first time to hear from Strictly from Danya. Talk to the girls. Talk to them. Well, I mean, my name is Danya Williams. I've been researching, doing research, African-American family history research for um, almost 30 years. I started with just knowing all about my um personal learning about my personal family and began to move forward from there and it's just been a whirlwind ever since um i ended up meeting my cousin and co-founder of genealogy adventures um when we were doing research for our family and we came across the fact that we actually were family we didn't know it and um it went from there. I ended up writing a book in 2017 called Comes to the Light because I started to learn that the area that my family was from, everybody is related, depending upon how far back you go. And Girl, um, I think you read my book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we are definitely closely related. I think the most interesting person that I found was my fourth fifth and sixth great grandfather he is literally in all of those spaces because the number of children that he has um he had 45 kids with two women and all wait, of wait, wait, wait. Yeah, i know four five you ain't mm -hmm. say 10 12 13 mm -hmm. maybe five six seven eight no you baby four five i said well, i heard that ladies and gentlemen she said four five i'm sorry i, I, did. I did i did and to make it even more interesting is is with only two women. So one woman had 20 girls and two boys, and another woman had 20 girls and three boys. So he had yeah, 40 show boys. love and dedication because he only loved two women. Think about that. Well, he was an enslaved man. He was born in 1769, died in 1884. So he saw every war that ever happened. So he's this is why he's so very interesting. But he saw every war that ever happened and lived 20 years beyond the uh, beyond slavery. So he was yeah, a interesting man. He was born before the American Revolution. So he was very, very interesting, born in Virginia. 
when Virginia was a colony, not even, you know, not anything else. So yeah, he's very interesting. So I actually come from a family of history that I'm learning now in my 49th year of life, almost to my five-year-old girlfriend. I'm ready for it. Um, I'm 50. I'll be 51 this year. Girlfriend, guys, Grace, I can't wait to get to that number. Boo, boo, boo. Um, <laughs> I'm actually learning about my own family history. And when I met you or heard about you on um, Andy Brennan's podcast, The Book Slam on Clubhouse, Mm -hmm. I'm giving a shout out to my my my, uh, my manager. Um, I was like, I've been trying to get that information because I'm looking at like, you know, we don't know anything about our culture and our history, especially in the black community. Right. Um, all other cultures, Mexicans, um, Latinos, right. the, um, the Caucasian culture, um, the Indian culture, all other facets of dynamics where the culture is vast in their knowledge of family history. And I learned over my years of life, even with the older generation of my family that I'm in communication with now, they only know from their own personal interaction and history that they shared amongst their family. But the sad part about that with our black culture and our community, a lot of our people don't know who you relate to. My dad, God bless his soul, <laughs> used to always say, boo-boo, that was his always favorite word to everybody. You better make sure you ain't your little cousin there because I don't want to make, make sure I don't do anything to anybody because you don't know who you're with. And I come from a family where I have family members who my biological family and they're also my biological family two or three times less over. I have a family member who's my example, my aunt and my cousin or my uncle, my cousin. Because back in those times, people were doing things, you know, to get where they got to be and be who they want to be. Well, you got to think about what happened during that time period. You know, during slavery, your families were separated. And if they were separated and then they ended up coming back and they not know who you are, then you end up marrying a cousin that you didn't even know was your cousin. Or you end up having a child with someone that you didn't even know was your family member. So you have to, it, it's definitely um, a must. This is a talking point. This is talking things for all Black community and culture. Almost definitely, but they, they're taught not to want to do that because of how they're taught about slavery, our what would happen with us during that time period. They're taught that nothing happened. We just were slaves and then boom. The and, everybody, right. and everybody's shh. Right. Nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to discuss it. And, 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 and that's the problem. That's why they don't want to know. So, you And you gotta, started at the belt, Bible Belt line. So I'm from up north. Born in Brooklyn. Best side. Do or die. Ride or die all day. Um, Raised in Philadelphia. West Philly. So okay. all I knew was the up north part of my growing up and rearing a life. I knew a little bit of my southern life and roots for that brief moment and I heard different stories, but I noticed that that was more prevalent in the Southern part of the life than it was in the Northern part or maybe no. am I incorrect or it's just yep. that it's always been, it was always. They moved about. away from it. They uh, moved away from it, but they were still, but you gotta understand when they started doing that whole migration, the migration actually was moving whole communities at one time. So, for example, with my family, my family also came from the South, and now I'm kind of curious as to where yours came from. But <laughs> my oh, family sounds, you ready for it? Sure. Darlington, South Carolina. Florence, You're probably related to me. Hartsville, South Carolina. You're probably related. We probably are. Yeah. It so, is my range is Reese, Bulls. Did you say Bowles, B-O-W-L-E-S? B-U-L-L-S. That's the same family. Okay. Yeah. B-U-L-L-S, like the animal bull. Yeah. But bull. it's also, it was spelled at one point B-O-W-L-E-S as well. I know that family. We're going to talk offline, girlfriend, because yeah. we don't want to share, <laughs> share all of our little secrets. We got to figure out some things. And then I'm going to have to bring you back on and like, uh, that's my girl. We gotta talk some more. You're like, girl, I was waiting for that. You know, we're gonna yeah. do that. 
we'll do that at a later time. But but I'm giving you different, um, and you're sharing different things with me as well, because um, from my lineage and my family, I've always been trying to find out from my maternal side of the family, my paternal side of the family, and is oh, we don't talk about that baby. Oh, no, we don't want to know about that. And right. only, I only had one portion of my family, which is the bull side, that actually discuss history from what they've known. Right. And believe it or not, I have a massive amount of cousins. And oh, I'm, I mean, I'm the youngest of 75. And I'm the, and I'm the youngest of, of about 20 that I've met or 30 that I've met so far out of the people that I've met. And they're all in their 70s, Lord's willing, God's grace, yeah. six, late 60s, mid 60s, and 80s on. And they're all cousins. Um, I, my, never met my, I am, so my grandparents, my grandparents had 14 children. They they were born in, my grandparents were born in the late 1890s, mid to late 1890s. So my grandfather was 1894. My grandmother was 1898. Um, my mom is the baby of four, of the 14 kids. And I have, including me, is 75 first cousins. So I, I can definitely, I can, I, this is what brought me to my research. I ended up finding out before I started digging deep into the dead, I, I actually dealt with the living. And I ended up finding out that my grandparents as a whole their whole entire kids, grandchildren, great grands, so on and so forth, they have, it is, at the time that I found, did the count, it was 400 of us. Just my grandparents' children. Because I have one aunt who... Wait a minute, I'm clutching my pearls and I don't even have any pearls. <laughs> Girlfriend, wait a minute, hold up, dude. Did you say 400? 400. Yep, four hundred. They're four. They're, and right it's right more right than right that right. now. Has to be more careful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's more than that now. Yeah, you're That's talking about some things that us as African Americans, Black people, and again, this show again, just to um, people who are watching live and thinking, oh, she's saying good morning, Black people with Morgan Reese. It's all about Black people. It's not. It's, it's not. about Latinos, Mexicans. Anyone of a culture where they don't know anything about their culture, don't even know bits and pieces, and then you have people who don't know anything about you or have the ignorance of not learning who you are as an individual and outside looking at your skin color and looking into your mind, looking into your intelligence. Because here's this is the thing. thing. I'm Here, here's the thing. We talk around, girlfriend. Yeah, oh, I'm, oh. I'm getting ready to say something that may not, but this is this is what happens on my sh on our show. Mm -hmm. But I'm getting ready to tell you right now, you can't do your research without looking at the Caucasians in your family because it all is of us, all of us have it in our family. Yes, oh, it is. It's absolutely impossible. You want to find Native American the, Indians? Exactly. You want to find if you want to find your family, you have to find the slave owner. That's the best way for you to find your family to find out. Who well, guess are. what? I look at it like this. They say uh, they were slave owners, but guess what? They were owners of greatness. Because if it wasn't for us, they wouldn't know how to cook. They wouldn't know how to clean. They wouldn't know how to do the basic necessities in their home. Um, a lot of these men and women were married to these persons in their lives, the people they chose to be a part of their lives. But who do they come to to get Come on in here, clean with this, and come on in here and do this, and come on. They didn't ask their wife to do it. They would even get a Caucasian man to do that and to provide those services. When they were like, "Well, why should I do this? You got that other word we're not going to say out loud to do them. You got that other skin color. That's what you hired them for. That's what you made them slaves for." But they didn't realize. I learned that when I moved when I first moved to the South. I moved to the South in two thousand and four of November the 8th. And I thought I had an eye opening of the Southern mentality and lifestyle. Girlfriend, Diana, diva. I got punched in both my eyes, punched in my face, stabbed in my back, and all of it was with a smile. And then they say, oh, you're from up north. You think you're better than us. You act like you're this, you act like you're that. You know, you don't know how we are. We don't know how we do things down here. 
No, I didn't know there's a certain way I do things. I came with a willing heart, with a willing participation of being a part of whatever your journey is, and we're gonna go from there at the end of the day. Ain't about up north, down south, black, white, this and that. I saw everybody as everybody because I had friends from all cultures. So what you're doing and you're saying and you're bringing to the forefront, I promise you, I want you first and it happened on purpose. God's grace, I promise you. <laughs> We've been making mistakes because actually I had another guest that was supposed to come on yesterday evening and it was not able to happen. And you are my first guest in my live debut. God knows what you're doing when you're supposed to do it. Well, I'm, so, I'm, I'm so happy to be that person. I really am. Um. Our show, we come on, um, we're also on, we're, we're on an E360 TV streaming app. Okay. And that is, you know, and it's through also through StreamYard. And we teach about how to research what goes on, shows the comparisons, understand that your family, you know, you are connected to everybody. Depending upon how much history a person knows, I found out that I was, a, I was related to the man that beat the abolitionists on the Senate floor. I'm related to him. So, and I'm related to the Senator Black Chaplain of the White House. There you go. There you go. And you don't realize how many people, how, how, what your connections come from, how many, you know, you don't know, you don't know who you're, where you get your attitude from, how you, the more you do the research, the more you start to realize. Girl, get out of my head. Get out of my head. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, that's what it is. That's how it goes. Years, I've told you I'm 49 years old. And for years, I used to always say, I'm a part of this large family on one end, a large family on another end. Um, not so large, but probably large family on another end. And I don't even know where I fit in. I don't know where I belong to. But then now as I'm doing my own research and my own um talking to this person and confiding this person and questioning this person. I feel like now I know a little bit more, but I still say, well, I got a lot of this from this person, but I still understand how do I, how am I part of y'all family? Because you and I don't tow the same line. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. And that's where I'm at. So by you coming on this show and you give me an eye opener, we're going to, discuss this a little bit more offline um man i know everybody's like oh my gosh give me more give me more nope we're gonna cut it short because guess what you turn to the next time she's gonna come back for a second time if she's available and if she does not mind but we're gonna talk offline we're gonna do some things but remember guys 2023 is all about who me all about me and all about you amen and the genealogy is our trace and our lineage to history. Um, it's so many people in our life, in our past, white, black, Puerto Rican, Dominicans, Latinos, Mexicans. It doesn't matter, Native American, Native American Indians. It does not matter what that genealogy attaches to us. Because we have all, you know, you say, I'm part Indian. I'm part white. Oh, you act like you you talking white. You act like you did. You talk too proper. You don't know how to be ghetto. You know, you don't know how to be hood. Uh, or you, you being, you're you just being like this. Um, That's on my blood. That's on my genes. So one minute I can switch like this. And the next minute I can switch like that. One thing I've learned in my life, I got to take off my hat and put it on when it's appropriate. <laughs> and I'm sure you know how to do the same thing. Yes, ma'am. So, oh, my gosh. Darn you. Yeah. I'm soaking a lot in. I hope you guys are too. Man. Genius. The only thing that I would like to leave on is just to let black people know, let most people, specifically black people, let them know and understand that you can find your family beyond the 1870s. I so, say it like so that. I say it like that because beyond 1870, we're no longer listed by name. We're actually listed just by gender and by age. But the bottom line is it can be done. You can do it. It's not impossible. And um, they, you need to start doing it because the stories are real. The stories that we have are so much deeper. Mm -hmm. And people need to really understand that people like Harriet Tubman, Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, 
they would not be without those stories. They have and, and it defines who they who they it were before them, they were exactly. And it actually defines us who who we are. That's you always right. say, who do I act like? You act like someone said, Well, I don't even know what that person is. Well, you act just like them, you know, from the you know, different people you come in your family. And this this is our this is our immediate footprint, our immediate um our yeah. thesis, our yeah. autobiography. How can we do this? How can we do that? And I promise you, Danya, I'm gonna come to you. Cause I'm gonna actually write my family on the offline on some extra stuff, some extra communication. But I would like you to share your information. How can anyone get in contact with you? How can they reach out to you and um, learn more about this? Again, guys, I'm Morgan Reese is gonna bring Donya Williams, the family genealogist, back onto Good Morning Black People with Morgan Reese, and we're gonna discuss this more in depth. This is not a one-time deal. This is not a one hit or quitter, as people say. Um, this is a lifetime, life, lifelong journey because there are people who are older than us and they thought they knew more and they don't. There are people who are younger than us. Generations are coming now. We're in another decade and they just don't know. So can you share with everyone how can they connect with you? How can they reach out with you with your social media platforms are? And we can get this ball rolling because guess what? We are in 2023 and there are a lot of black people, a lot of African-American people who don't know a lot about their family. They don't know where they came from. They don't know why they act like this, why they do this, why they do that. You know, who am I a part of? Because we all are family in one way or another. But we like to know who we are part of. We are part of God at the end of the day. At the end of the day, we are a part of a God. But the God gave us family. And we don't know how can we connect with our family. So share the information with everyone, please. Um, you can find me on um I am on LinkedIn and under Donya Williams under my name, but to find out more about Genealogy Adventures, we have a website called genealogyadventures.net. You can also do um, our, uh, our Facebook page, which is also called Genealogy Adventures. And you can go to our YouTube channel, which is also called Genealogy Adventures. All of our shows are listed there on demand. You can find, I think you can find just about anything you want under that. And um, you can email me if you have some questions, genealogyadventureslive at gmail.com or genealogyadventures at e360tv.com. Thank you very much, Donnie. I promise you, you are a blessing diva. <laughs> you. you are a blessing diva. I promise you, we, you know, they say God says, you got a plan, ha, ha, ha. I'm gonna tell you, I'm here with your plan, but I got a better plan. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do, how I do what I need to do. And he's never delayed, he's always on time and he never denies you. And I promise you, you being my first guest for my debut show. <laughs> Again, when I tell you I'm a silly goose and I'm just like uh, beyond astonished, this happened on purpose because I already had my own questions. And I remember listening to you on, on the book slam on Clubhouse, and I was like, oh, man, I can't believe he told me to come to this show tonight, because I was like, I'm too tired. I don't want to do it tonight. I'm just not in the mood. And I heard you and a couple of the other people that guests that they had on the show, Willa Quita, um, and I was like, okay, uh, I need to reach out to her. And with my, my lips again to God's ears, I would like to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to yours. Um, Thank you for coming on. Thank you for taking my invite and taking the time to share your, your knowledge, your wisdom. I'm on this new journey of clarity. I'm on this new journey of wisdom, knowledge, um, things that I don't know that I didn't know or things that I thought I knew and I need more clarity or understanding of. God is providing that to me and I'm so grateful and thankful for that. But I would like to thank you so much, Donya, for coming on my show again. Listen to your girl, talk to her, follow her on um, all her platforms, but definitely follow her on Genealogy Adventures Live with Donya Williams, the mm -hmm. deal one and only. And you are blessed by God's grace and mercy. And whatever you ask for, whatever you need, he's going to give it to you. Because that's what this year is about. 2020 is all about who? Me and you. There you go, Diva. Thank you. Much blessings, peace and blessings to you. Much joy. I wish you well in your shared journeys of life. And thank you so much. <laughs> Guys, that was super amazing. Oh, my gosh.
people. Y'all don't even understand. I've been trying to learn about my journey of this. When I wrote my book, Endurance is Victory, I learned a lot about the immediate family that I was close to, the immediate family that treated me, took care of me, not took care of me, nurtured me, not nurtured me, not give me what I thought I needed in my life. And some did, the ones that was alive and was around and was able to be honest and transparent. And by tonight with Danya coming online and sharing her journey and her history of genealogy, lineage, you got to know where you come from. I have Native American in me, in me. I have Caucasian in me. I have Black. I have African American, Liberian. I have so many other genes and DNA in me. And you may have the same thing. And tonight was an eye opener. And I thank you guys for joining my show tonight. And still on me for my first time, my debut. A good morning, Black. Good morning, Reed. Yes. We'll be watching tonight in the morning, in the afternoon. Make sure you got your coffee, got your tea. Because guess what? Tonight, Miss Diane Williams, the diva of genealogy adventures, gave us some tea to sip for our lifetime. Thank you again, everyone. I appreciate you for joining me and watching me tonight. Stay tuned for more. It's only just the beginning. It's not coming to an end. The best is yet to come. Because anything and everything is possible. Because remember, 2023 is for me. Thank you, everyone. Good night. Sweet dreams. Morgan Reese loves you so much. Good morning. Good afternoon. I'll talk to you again soon. Peace and blessings. <laughs>